Hi, it's Dejalette here with Keller Williams Realty. Thanks so much for tuning in to my video blog. Hi again, it's Dejalette. And before we get started on this week's topic, which is going to be the top seven things to consider when buying a home, I just wanted to bring your attention to a few links below. If you're thinking of buying a home, then please click the link below to search all homes here in Start Your Home Search with me. And if you're thinking of selling a home or just curious to know what your home is worth, please click the link below to get your free home value market report. Now back to today's topic, the top seven things to consider when you're buying a home. Number one, before you view properties, make a list of the things that you must have and the things that you want. They are two different things, and I do believe that when you buy a home, you should get some of the things that you want. However, your budget is going to dictate the things that you want. So, for example, if you wanted a two-car garage, but your budget tells you that most of the homes that you're searching for don't have garage, garages, you might have to sacrifice that. But the things that are must-haves, like two bedrooms or a three bedroom, those are the things that you should really focus on and maybe highlight a few of the wants that you really are looking for and try to get some of those. Number two, don't view too many properties in one day. I wouldn't view more than five to seven properties in one day. They all start to blur together and you'll lose sight of what you're looking for. I would bring a notebook and write down the addresses and any of the things that you see in that property or questions that you might have so that will jog your memory. Number three, when you find a property that you like, you should drive by that property at different times of the day. You know, like maybe at the end of the day to see what traffic's like around five. Is there a lot of people in the neighborhood out? Um, things that are important to you about the neighborhood. You wanna see that property at different times of the day. Also, you could see the outside condition maybe better at different times of the day. So drive by and check it out different times of the day. Number four. Don't be put off by any interior decoration. Those things can be changed to meet your taste. Number five, establish what's included in the property. If there's a property that you're serious about putting an offer in on, finding out what's included for appliances, or maybe some furnishings are included, but these things you can find out upfront before you place your offer. Number six, ask why the sellers are moving. If the sellers have to be somewhere within a 30-day time frame. This could dictate how your offer is going to be structured. You might have a little bit more power if a seller has to sell or be somewhere quickly. And this is also going to be dictated by what's happening in the marketplace. If you're in a seller's market, then that property is probably going to sell quickly. However, if it's kind of an even playing field and that seller has to sell in a certain time frame, that's probably going to be to your advantage as a buyer. And number seven, find out the cost of the taxes and any of the utilities uh, for the month. So you can kind of really plan what your budget's going to look like. How much is it gonna cost to run the house, heat the house, electricity? You know, all those things that a seller would have copies of their utility bills, please ask for a copy of that. I hope you find these top seven things to consider when buying a home to be helpful. If I could be assistance to you, please feel free to give me a call at 207-553-2602. I hope you have a great day. 